Well, as you heard, a lot of people say it's just not possible to rig a national election in the U.S. Are they right? Well, joining us to talk about it is Charlie Spees, a political law attorney and former election law counsel for the Republican National Committee. Thanks so much for being with us. I have to ask you, how can everyone be so sure, everyone except Donald Trump, that this election is not in some way vulnerable to rigging or fraud? Jonathan, a presidential election in America can't be rigged because there's multi-levels of checks and balances, and those checks and balances are done in a bipartisan way. Any votes can be tracked in terms of what's on the machines, and then you can go back and make sure it wasn't tampered with. And that's done by state and local officials who are from different parties across the board, depending on where the election's taking place. And the scale of conspiracy and collaboration that would have to take place to rig a national election would assume that Republican governors and Republican secretaries of state across the country were all working together with Democrats to try and hurt a Republican nominee, and that's just not plausible. What about someone outside of the political process in the United States? I mean, someone outside the country, maybe. Uh, I ask that question because more than 20 states have reported hack attacks on their electoral systems. Uh, that seems to be serious. Think about how voting happens. You've got a voting machine, and we have poll watchers at the local level, and the Machines track the vote, and then that's reported into a sub-location, and there's people monitoring the votes coming in. Republican poll watchers there, and then that goes into a state location where they track the vote. And again, you have Republican poll watchers there and Democratic poll watchers, so both sides are represented, watching the votes coming in and tracking them. Too many sets of eyes from political parties that have no reason to want to cooperate. So why does Donald Trump keep talking about this? I mean, you're a Republican. In purely mercenary terms, is it smart politics? It's terrible politics. Now, to be fair, you will recall that in 2001, Democrats spent years, including, including Hillary Clinton in 2002, trying to delegitimize George W. Bush's election and saying things like selected, not elected. So this does go on on both sides. But what's remarkable here is Donald Trump seems to be conceding the election and making excuses for losing. Smart, politically, he would be much smarter to be trying to encourage his supporters to get out and vote and have a winning message rather than preparing them to lose. Charlie Spees, attorney at law, thanks so much for talking with us. Also at the debate, Trump took a swipe at another American institution that passed him over, the 